All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x plus two to the power of x is equal to 68. So I'm gonna first start by rewriting eight as two to the power of three. So I get two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of x is equal to 68. Now I'm going to rewrite two to the power of three to the power of x as two to the power of x to the power of three. So I have this plus two to the power of x is equal to 68. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. Now from here, I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for two to the power of x, I get y to the power of three plus y is equal to 68. Now I can subtract 68 on both sides. So I get y to the power of three plus y minus 68 is equal to zero. Now, to actually factor this and find the value of y, I need to first find the factors of 68. So the factors of 68 are one, two, 4, 34, and 68. So, now, one wouldn't work because one times 68 we can't subtract those two to get y. And two wouldn't work either. The only one that would work is four, because if you divide y minus four with y to the power of three plus y minus 68, that would be a factor, that would be factorable. So now that we know that four is a proper factor, For my original equation here, y to the power of three, I'm gonna rewrite this as y to the power of three minus four y squared plus four y squared minus 16 y, which is the which is four squared plus 17 y, because negative 16 y plus 17 y is equal to y, and finally minus 68 at the end is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna factor by grouping. So these two are a group, these two are a group, and these two are a group. From y to the power of three minus four y squared, I'm gonna factor out y squared because that's the greatest common factor. So I get y squared times y minus four plus from four y squared minus 16 y, I'm gonna factor out four y, so I get four y times y minus four, and from 17 y minus 68, I'm gonna factor out 17, so I get 17 times y minus four is equal to zero. Now, if I factor out y minus four, I get y minus four times y squared plus four y plus 17 is equal to zero. And now this, is, this gives me two equations. I get y minus four is equal to zero, and I get y squared plus four y plus 17 is equal to zero. So for y minus four equals zero, add four on both sides, and I get y equals four. For y squared plus four y plus 17 equals zero. I can factor this by using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is four, and c is 17. So I get y is equal to negative four plus or minus the square root of four squared, which is 16 minus four times one times 17, all over two a, so two times one. This is equal to negative four plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 68 over two, which is equal to negative four plus or minus the square root of 50, negative 52 over two. 
And this is equal to negative four plus or minus the square root of 52 times the square root of negative one over two. And the square root of 52, this can be simplified to, well, 52, that's 20, that's 13 times four and four is two times two, so this can be two root 13. So I get y is equal to negative four plus or minus two root 13 times the square root of negative one, which is simply equal to i over two. Now if I divide both terms by two, I get y equals negative four plus or minus the square root of 13 i, or sorry, negative two plus or minus the square root of 13 i. So now that we know these values of i, y, remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to y, meaning I get 2 to the power of x equals 4, and this is obvious, x equals 2, so that's one solution of x, and I also get 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2 plus the square root of 13i, and 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2 minus the square root of 13i. Well, two to the power of x, we can't, take, we can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So there's no solutions for these two, and x equals two is my only solution to this problem.